Hi everyone, welcome to another video by Optionables. My name is Saket and today in this video we are going to look at what happened to the markets, what we can expect from the markets tomorrow and finally what happened to our trades. So today when you look at the markets, it was consolidating throughout the day around 17,200 up until the end. Market made us feel that 17,200 might be some good support for the market because every time it came near 17,200 immediately there was some buying coming in and around 1 o'clock is when the market started to drop all the way from 17,275 to 16,800. So there was almost a 400 point fall in Nifty alone and forget about Bank Nifty there was close to 800 points fall just in matter of one and a half two hours so what triggered this sell-off is uh, it to be known so we tried to see if there is any news which is actually causing the sell-off so the sell-off was very severe so we don't know what exactly caused the sell-off and the thing is one thing that we are pretty certain of even though the time is now around four o'clock one thing what we are certain of is fii's will be definitely net sellers because when you look at Infosys, HDFC Bank, HDFC, Kotak, so all these are FII favorite counters and all of these are down. So specifically HDFC and HDFC Bank, both of them are down by 4 to 5% respectively and this is a huge fall considering the weightage they have in Nifty. So the only thing that actually tried to hold Nifty was Reliance. So on one end, all the heavyweights, Infosys, TCS, HDFC Bank, HDFC, all of these are literally pulling down Nifty, whereas Reliance is somehow trying to hold Nifty. And because of that, maybe the fall, what we saw was little lesser. So if even Reliance we saw a sell off means easily, we could have expected around 16,700 to be breached. So even if we had seen a sell-off in Reliance also, then easily we could have expected Nifty to come closer to 16,700. There was absolute carnage in uh, Dalal Street, specifically towards the end. And all the stocks were beaten down very badly, specifically the banking stocks. So they were definitely beaten down pretty bad. And if you also look at Bank Nifty, it almost closed around 36,000. Because of the average pricing, it somehow ended at 36,300. But the sentiment was surely very, very bearish, especially towards the end. So now we'll be seeing what we can expect from the markets tomorrow, as well as what happened to our trades in the screen recording. We'll be quickly jumping onto the screen recording. First, we'll discuss the market outlook, as well as what happened to our trades. So with this, uh, we also come to the end of this video and we'll be quickly moving on to screen recording. Meanwhile, if you're liking the content on this channel, please do hit the like button, share this video, as well as subscribe to Optionables. Thank you so much for joining guys. Hi everyone, welcome to the video. So first we'll be starting off this video by uh, looking at the market outlook and later we'll also be moving towards the trade. So when we actually look at the total OI today, one thing that is fairly clear is that there is huge amount of call writing at higher end. So if, when if we look at the nifty intraday movement, so we see that especially after two o'clock, there was a huge sell off almost close to 400 points just in a matter of an hour. And this was followed by heavy writing on the call side. So on morning, this put particular put leg of 17,000 and 17,200 was positive. That means people were actually writing put options. But by afternoon, they started writing 17,000 calls and 17,200 calls so aggressively. And they also started unwinding 17,000 and 17,200 puts. So it was not just about writing additional calls, it was also about unwinding the puts. So obviously this more or less uh, suggests the sentiment which is running in the market, which is extremely bearish. So yesterday we had thought that markets might not actually break 17,000. So today it has turned out to be exact opposite. The market has not just broken 17,000, but it has decisively closed below 17,000. So we can see at this point, the total number of calls in 17,000 is way more than 17,000 puts. That means, which is a clear indication that at 17,000, now markets are definitely going to face some resistance. So right now the trend is bearish, but one more thing what we have to also keep in mind is the PCR ratio, which is almost around 
0.4. So anything towards 0 0.3, 0 0.2, that means there will be overextension of uh, calls and that might lead to some kind of short covering. So the idea what we have right now is definitely markets are going to face some severe resistance at 7200 and I am not expecting the market to break 17200 before this expiry and on the downside hopefully by 16800 16700 we must find some support so that is not at sure but hopefully we find some support towards 16800 and 16700. So Bank Nifty also the trend is more or less similar and um, when you look at the OI it is quite clear that there is severe call writing at 37,000, 37,500, 36,500. So that's the reason um, 37,000 again today the market did breach 37,000 but it couldn't hold it and immediately there was a sell off and we saw that the market fell towards 36,000 almost towards 36,000. So definitely this level of 37,000 will act as a very strong resistance for the market in the shorter run. On the downside, even on technical chart, 35,500 is a very strong support and hopefully uh, this time market ends up holding 35,500. So that is the hope what we have. So now coming to what happened to our trade. So this is a particular trade in Bank Nifty and this is our positional trade. And you can see that we are quite badly hit with our Bank Nifty positional trade. So the loss here is uh, still notional because our break even actually comes at 36,300 itself. So that is our lower end break even and we will only face loss below 36,300. Still since there's two days to expiry, the market, uh, the M2M is already showing 4.2 lakh loss. This is the loss what we might be having if the market closes around 35,800 or 35,700 towards the end of the expiry. If it is actually closing somewhere around 36,300, this entire position is actually going to go into profits. So this was with positional trade. So that's why we are not really worried. Tomorrow we will end up adjusting this trade and it's pretty much well in control. So this M2M is quite notional. Even if there's a small bounce back or let's say tomorrow, even if it opens around 100, 150 points gap down, there's absolutely no need to worry about this position. So apart from this coming to nifty trade. So today, uh, more or less, let me just uh, show quickly on the chart. With intraday trade, we ended up making close to 3,30,000. So I'm going to show you how exactly these trades went and uh, what were these trades. Throughout the day, the market more or less consolidated. So we had a 17,200 short straddle up till the end of the day, that is 17,200. And as the market started to suggest some strength, so as we started to move towards 130, the market started showing some strength and that's the reason we decided to shift from 17,200 all the way up till 17,250. So we shifted all our short straddles which were at 17,200 and we got it up to 17,250. And here immediately, uh, it was hardly around an hour since we got all the short straddles up and immediately the sell-off started. The P each side thankfully triggered the stop loss very early in the trade as soon as we shifted and we had a huge decay on the C side. Here uh, what we actually ended up doing is as the market approached around 17,000 we ended up booking half the quantity and as the market further fell we ended up booking further half quantity and this way we started reducing our position. The idea was fairly simple in case if this was a false fall and if there's buying which comes in immediately. So then we would have booked some good profits. So this was the only idea we had. So as the market started falling, we started cutting our positions and booking as soon as it came down. So the, uh, the thing is the trade today was fairly simple. It was mainly because of the delta on the call leg where we were able to gain. So since the fall was so drastic, we were able to gain because the call leg just decayed. So there is uh, nothing else. There is no other adjustment in the trade. Only thing is we shifted our short straddles from 17,200 towards 17,250. And more or less uh, after that, the stop loss got triggered and the other leg just decayed. So it was a fairly simple trade, no more adjustments. And uh, that's how we almost ended with around 323,000. So on top of this, uh, we also tried to take one small bank nifty trade towards the end. Uh, so because the IV had shot up so much, we thought maybe if the IV can cool down a little, we can end up gaining. 
but that also went wrong so immediately after we took the market started crashing down and there as soon as we hit a loss of 50000 i just cut all the positions and that's how we have additional loss in bank nifty which is 50000 which is specific to today's trade so with this uh, we also come to this short trade summary where we discussed about what happened to the markets and also more about what we can expect from the markets tomorrow and what happened to our trades so our trades just to give you a simple summary with intraday we made around 3.3 lakh and in positional we lost around 4 lakh but this 4 lakh is still notional so this is the loss what we'll be having if the market expires this expiry around 35700 so tomorrow we will just look at the trade and try to adjust this so with this we also come to the end of this video and if you guys have liked this video then do not forget to hit the like button share this video as well as subscribe to optionables thank you so much for joining